Okay, next thing we want to do is let the user step through the instructions that we've created. We're going to start by adding a row component. Step one. And let's make sure it's outside of our column. Step one. Step one. And then we're going to add a button. That lets us go to the next instruction. Okay, and let's not let the row fill up all of the screen. Okay. Now we're going to create another variable. It's going to be an integer called index. And this index is going to keep track of what step we're on. So when we start up the program, we want to set the index to 1 to start at the beginning of the list. And now, We can use that to keep track of what instruction we're supposed to be displaying. Okay. Now let's create an event handler for our next button. And what we want to check is whether we've still got more instructions to display. So as long as this index isn't going to be bigger than our, the length of our list, we're going to increase it. So as long as this index is less than the length of our instructions, We're going to change the index by 1, so we'll add 1 to it. And then we want to display the next instruction, change the button, add the text to speech. Now let's add one more event handler. So the reason we chose to make the instructions the text of a button is so that when the user clicks on the button, they can re-speak the instructions.